March 22nd Municipal Building Committee the, the order. Any modifications to the minutes of our last meeting? I hear none. Not none. They're okay. They saw them. Did you send them out? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, you would send them out. Who sent them? Did you send them out? No. Oh, oh, I don't have any, oh we don't have any meetings. I got them here, but I never did them. Okay, so I guess <laughs> so we, we don't have them. Yeah, I'm thinking of the other meeting. I guess Randy we brought them in. Can't approve the minutes. Okay. So we'll table that till next table meeting. Table that. We'll table. So this should be a quick meeting. Um, good one. Gary and I had, when was that, last Thursday? Yeah. The last Thursday, we had a meeting with the town administrator and um, Mary Thayer, chair of the CEA, to talk, discuss about Goodwin. So the general discussion, again, was how much can we believe we can get done on this phase one? And we looked at the way the um, specs were written and made some suggestions in changing the order of them. So we had it lumped into um, the part for adults. Yeah. And then on the add ons. So we modified it and just primarily put in the electrical, okay, and had everything else as add-ons. So we, uh, a lot of discussion was, well, if we take the bathroom out, this is a temporary bathroom on the first floor, what are the problems related to doing that? One is that we don't meet accessibility standards for any type of meeting. But I said, there's two things we can do. I'd be more than happy, since I've done these before, I, I'd be more than happy to go and um, request a waiver from that. And the reason I believe that we can get the waiver is because we are talking about going right into phase two. And phase two was the addition with the elevator and new accessible bathrooms. So then all floors have ability to use the accessible bathrooms. Yes, there will be a time lag there with regard to possible using the building and not have an accessible bathroom. But the nice thing is we have all these nice new buildings that we can have alternate space. And that is one of the items that um, the waiver or the the, um, a, the the board looks for if you have alternate sites, and we have both. One, we have the alternate site, and two, we're jumping right into adding on to the building. So I I said I felt comfortable that we could get that waiver and just go ahead and do the work. And I said if the worst case scenario is we're doing the work, let's and if we can't get the waiver, we just jump quicker into phase two and get it out and you know just use a building as we're doing now and not occupy it so I don't think that's gonna happen if the if it changes and you and you jump right into phase two does that affect Hadley media's use of the building do no. they have to make they can stay there yeah they can, they stay, can there. stay there either e either way either way yeah, they're, they're, they'll be able to stay there yeah, that's the that, way that I saw we uh, didn't they have a special did they have a fiber optic line brought in there specifically yes campus? that's why they're yeah, they're they there. Stay there that's their spot and yeah. they've always that was our plan all along yeah. 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 basically we what the problem was we asked we're all pretty much sure that what the money we have is not enough, not to enough do all this. Yeah. so we asked Mary look at yeah, this is, this is we're bar this is CPA's money. Right. How do you guys want to go about this? Do we go out to bid the way it is, right. knowing that no, the plans are going to not have enough money, yeah. and then come back and ask for more or do whatever, or do we modify it like Tim says and go this way? Get the electric right. 
Which is probably the, the most ceiling. important thing because yeah. right. you really can't do anything. I mean, you can you can work in there, but on an overloaded. It, it, well, panel, I mean, that, so it, it's starting to get overloaded just with the stuff that's in there now. Yeah, so um, that's the exciting. other thing too, we just had an OSHA meeting, to, an OSHA training today, and uh, knob and tube wiring came up, and this is this is sponsored and taught by the insurance company that the, this does the town. And so she goes, oh, you guys don't have any, who is, you guys don't have any buildings like that. He, well, yeah, we do. She goes, well, is it insured? I says, yeah. She goes, by who? I says, <laughs> she's like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and Mary agreed that this is probably the best way to go. She said that, you know, there is some money and they have, you know, relaxed their, you know, project, man, you know, their maintenance stuff as far as CPA goes yeah. and that you know it would be good to get going on that phase and maybe doing something with the town hall so the the, the uh, so you're looking to go forward with one or the other or see if they bite it either or well we have the town is going to prioritize Goodwin right we got to get that building done right but as far as the electrical the, the or, the, or the phase two phase one bid okay the phase one bid so what we did was we basically pulled the bathroom out of the phase one of the phase one. Yeah, put it and as an add as an add all an add all, and it's supposed to be was supposed to have been out this week. Yeah, last week, the week last before, week, the week before, and ago. we've heard nothing. Yeah, so yeah. that's where that sits. It's Tim and I readjusted everything. Tim brought it up to her, and she basically had she wanted us to take this out, put it in order down here. We did that, we dropped it off, and that's where we stand. Dropped it off at, at Town Hall. Town Hall. And, and all it's doing is taking it from here and putting yeah, it Yeah, basically down there. we took out three or four right. paragraphs. But it doesn't change the CPA application. No. no. Nope. Not, Not at all. No. Okay. And then we have, you know, Mary agreed with it. The hope is it goes out next week. Yeah. Okay. Because the money's there. It's just right. not going to be able to finish the whole thing with that amount. No. So you might as well get some of it done. Let's, that's let's correct. Get, yeah. And everybody agreed with that. Yeah. Because this whole thing with this knob and tube is a really bad situation. But yeah, it's, it and, should have been dealt we with. Need to I mean, unfortunately, tv is upstairs. All their electrical stuff is up there. And, and other than a couple of lights on, right? that's where your load is. And it's on that one small panel up there that they ran up years ago. Second floor. Well, hopefully, if you know, it actually gets sent out, you know, to get some motion on that this well, season. Right. I mean, <laughs> well, we wanted to prioritize it. We want to get it, get jump, get it. Yeah. Well, well, it was priority well, two years ago. Right. Well, and it's priority. It just, yeah, the, when we asked for it. Yeah. And with that, we emphasized let's get the phase two design out for bid. We have the $25,000 sitting there. That's what it's for. We have very, very good drawings to show everybody what's needed. We just need a little bit of detail. Sure. Let's get that out sooner than later. And what the hope is, and if we can get the pressure on to do this correctly, if, let's say everything does work out and we get it, get phase one out next week. So we're a month, next next month, end of next month, we award it. We should be at a point to be able to get phase <coughs> two design out at that, at that point. I don't know, and we've been get working it, on that for a while. Is there any ballpark of what phase two is going to come into? It was, I mean, if we. it's based on the old stuff. I said, what did I say? Two and a half? I, well, originally it was like one and a half, but I think yeah, I, I said two and a half. The numbers we million. got today for a quote on a building. Well, the, the, the stuff's, reason I gone up, stuff's gone up 50%. Right, so the these reason buildings. I ask is if it fits under that 1.5, <coughs> you already have pre qualified OPMs and you don't have to you know, go through that whole you know, request for qualifications again. You can just use Collier's. Yes. Right, but that's an OPM. We we have to have the design stuff. Right, put but out. yeah, and but you don't need to search for their qualification. At least right. you know we you know somebody who can deal right with it right away. Right, and when we get the design done, we will yeah. have estimates on how much it's going to cost, and we'll know how to go forward. So the hope is that we can just 
as soon as phase one is done, all the electrical and stuff, we can go turn it right into phase two right. and get phase two started. Yeah. So at okay. the town hall, they have to um, come up with a contract or a request for a designer to well, bid? Yeah, yeah, we have to go out to bid. Yeah, so yeah. we don't have. Yeah. And who's going to draw up that contract? It's already drawn up, I believe. Is it for what? The for phase for going out for design. design work. I'll look. That's a good point. We never brought that up. I if it was, it was a long time ago. It was a long, long time ago, and I think Mr. Tuttle did. Oh, something. did do something yes. with that? Well, let's check. I will have to go back and look, but we can easily do that. It's. I mean, you're talking about a paragraph or so. Yeah, I know, but you know how things. You know. We're talking about weeks and then it's months. Well, yeah. well <laughs> that that's in a whole different ball game. So it's it's not. It's just basically a a, a, pay, a, pay, a page of um, advertisement that goes out into the um, register thing. So yeah, the hope is that we'll, we'll get that. Well, so. wasn't half the language already written up on the front end of that? Yeah, and I don't know why. It's not like. The stuff was all put together, and we just moved some stuff around. It should be a matter of moving that around. The rest it's of the front end stuff was on it, and it yeah. shouldn't. But, it, but we'll we'll look at it for for, uh, for next week. And you know, there's still no movement on the column project. Nope. nope. Which is already sitting there, ready to go, and has been. Yeah. So that's been correct. The whole package for that's been corrected, and yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. It that was, needs to go out. The whole thing was corrected. Out years ago but only half of it went out but we have and it some all of it's been together redone. Now. it's all back together and it's there and so it has been looked at it's been blessed it just needs to go out the door so we'll get there and I think did I did we, Tim and I told you about did we tell you last time about how we what we did with hiring the on-call consultant last time was was uh illegal and we couldn't do it and all this well Larry sent us a packet from what from Springfield city of Springfield that just went out in 2022 his partner or went out in January yeah. right and it, it the, everything is there it's the whole bid spec for Every. the city of Springfield for consultants up to and they wanted several of them each one up to half a million dollars for per packet. So it's essentially going out for on call services. Right. So what I did was I said I, I'm I'm just giving this to you, to Carolyn, uh, the town administrator. Um as out of courtesy. I said, you know, I, I don't know what the the, the city are. of Springfield just they, did this. So they just did it. I'm assuming So she started looking at it, she goes, Boy, this is really interesting. We we'll certainly have to look into how this is being handled. This is nice. That, I'm glad you yeah. did it. Well, so, I mean, that's, you, you know, the, the on-call consultant thing is you, you totally can go forward with that. It's you have to jump through the little fiery hoops, but they're it's not. A, well, your mouse yeah. had the house doctors for design. Yeah, right, house doctors yeah. are all their contractors, but you know there was certain thresholds yeah. well yeah right so I don't know why Hadley can't do it it's I mean we, we did it the first did. time Springfield is well you were at the meeting that's yeah, like the meeting well, said it's we, illegal we can't do it well we didn't get any real answers what we could do we did that's I kept well, on asking they, so what they, can they, we they do also yeah, I think on. maybe it was just a little bit of protocol that was skipped about um, you you know you need to have at least the scope of specific projects before you you know say so you can't just have them uh, on-call consultant and no projects yet. You have to have some kind of detailed projects worked up and a scope for them so that they can say, okay, I can do this one and this one and this one. Well, it was interesting reading the the Springfield. The Springfield so it has been handed over. Yeah. It was, um, and the they, Springfield one to me was pretty much what we had done yes. originally the first so, time. Right. Well, that's the thing is we had a ton of projects well, and I was going through our old it, it notes. Wasn't, and stuff it wasn't it wasn't specific our... projects, but it was projects like HVAC projects. Sure. Obviously, there was a limit of ten thousand or less because sure, yeah. you, you know, after that they're allowed to bid, but it's a separate project. Yeah. You know, and it was all written up, and we did it the right way. It wasn't like we just yeah called three guys and said, "Hey, right, you tag, you're winning. That's it." So hopefully, because of 
what we got from Springfield. It was accepted generously, uh, and we were thanked for uh, handing that over. Sure. And it's going to be reviewed, and and the, what was given back was, I hope we can do something like this. So hopefully I mean, we're running into, into it with town projects, culvert projects. Those are my thoughts on getting some of these questions asked and maybe answered, you know? But those are the ones that we've been asking. Yeah. Well, I know, but mm -hmm. I I thought if we put it in writing, mm -hmm. you know, then it would be there. And but now with that Springfield thing, we don't have to do it. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll we'll get you it. there. I'll get you. I can. I'll get a copy for you too. I mean, it, I can't imagine. And it, look, Springfield had some big numbers on these things. Yeah, well, it's yeah, hard to know. imagine that that they would need that. Most most bigger municipalities have. OPMs on staff. That but they see, OPM is, is yeah. to build it, like right. here. Well, but the design these, people. Anything over a million and a half, doesn't matter. You have to have people. an OPM. Right. It's like a code of works. This is for the It's like when you have the problems. senior center. You have a, people design it, and then the OPM is the one that makes sure that it gets built correctly. Yeah. That's your town's yeah. Even though insurance. We, we policy. couldn't go after them for the one thing that they screwed up, but. Well. <laughs> but, anyways, that, you know, so, yeah, OPM is after the project gets done, and it's a certain amount of money. It's, you know, Kirk of the Works is out now, but that's fine. But we're talking about we can't even get these little projects. Yeah, you know, we, we got them up when we had the oh, when we had Larry as an on call. We got the projects done efficiently and right quickly. because he, you know he did some he did the furnaces, the boiler, the air yeah. handlers. Sure. You know that yeah, kind of stuff. Definitely thing. handy to have. Them, so I guess it, it, yeah, doing the study work and on it, call and PNP. And, and you don't know. I mean, like I said, t tomorrow something could be let go, and we need somebody to write up some specs. And you can't, you don't hire a contractor to write specs. First of no. all, it, it's illegal. Second of all, it depends on what contract you get to write the specs. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's people out there that just live for, you know. So and, the hope you know. of next time we meet that we'll have some positive things to say. But, so we've done the good one. We've done the um, painting of the columns. They're both on, still on hold. So the only what, other what, what is the hold, though, just for somebody to actually put them out? Do the work. Yeah. So they're sitting on somebody's desk, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just in the right button to put it. No, okay. That's just good to know. Um, so the the next thing is the um, town maintenance. I gave you guys a copy of this. Please review it if you wish to. Um, critique it. We can add, delete, whatever work. But this is what we used years past. What I'd like to do is start going through the buildings. Okay, I, I've got to, I started bringing it up. Yeah. So we'll make sure I had enough people here. So we started our safety meetings up again. And Maya, we've got a new rep that's really pretty good at working with us. And I went on the website the other day, and I, you know, I discussed several of these things, like, you know, sidewalks that are uneven. You know, they always send out these things, you know, if you got an uneven sidewalk, it's, it's a trip hazard, if there's a sinkhole and mud gets in it, it's a slide hazard. Okay. So there's several, and I've downloaded a few of them, like building things that the insurance company recommends checking. And I think if you and I get together, we can maybe combine these sure. into one form for one trip. Okay. Um, because there so is you some, have to fill out the, the ones it's, for It's kind of like, it's sort of different like things, but similar like this. You know, go through each building and check, you know, this okay. and that, and, you know, and, and kind of, but it's something that the insurance company, they actually give you credit if you do it, do a mm -hmm. chart like that. So they stuff love that they it. usually do commercially on their own, but your municipality, you have to do it yourself or something? Or? They don't come around. They, they come around and check the buildings like, they just did, kind of, they come out like every... Not ten years. I'm gonna say like every five years and look at certain buildings. Yeah. Lay eyes on them. Sure. Other than that, that you get credit for like they love to give the towns credit for it. You take a class, a bunch of people take a yeah. class, you save a half a percent on your sure. insurance. Yeah. If you fill out forms like this and turn them in, you get a quarter of a percent off, you yeah. know. But it's stuff that just kind of some of it's common sense and mm -hmm. some of it's just so if you have a list and you check it off. You know, like, is something leaking underneath this? Well, if you don't have the list, people go buy it every day, and it's normal. Right. You don't even think about it. Right. So that's why you don't have to check yeah. this. Yeah, and, you know, and it's, it's good to have that. And so I think 
if we're going to do something like this, we could, we could combine everything okay. and go through it. You know, I mean, some of it might be redundant, um, but that way, when we submit it, they you know they know it's there. Of course, the other problem was, and I brought this up to the insurance lady too, and I bring it up every time, and I brought it up to the OSHA lady today. The problem with safety is, most of the time, when something's wrong, it costs money to fix it. And when you don't have money to fix it, you know, and she's like, well, you know, if you, if you make a list and you're working on it, the insurance companies are pretty good about, you know, okay, well, they're working on it. They don't have a lot of money. I mean, okay, yes, but you know yourself. If you know, it's like anything, and even the insurance lady today said, if you know there's a problem and you write it down, and it sits there for one year, in two years, yeah, in three years, the yeah. insurance company might know you're doing it. When somebody gets hurt on that, you're, well, the yeah, attorney's right. going to go after that. That's right. And, that, and that's a good point for this list that not only a roof leak, but if it's a safety hazard, that's where we should be picking up because anybody, employees or residents. Well, that's kind of what, you know, like I said, though, you know, and you know yourself, most of these problems don't fix themselves. You know, if there's a leak somewhere, it needs to be fixed. If there's, you know, something broken, it needs to be replaced. And when you're down to zero on the budget right now for maintenance, I think that's one of the things that we can. But it's also help the town it's with. also a good thing if you make up a list like this and say, look it, Man, this, this is, is safety. Good. We've presented it. You need to. You do better it. do something about it. Mm -hmm. now, I don't want to get sidetracked, but who? I mean, OSHA an OSHA person came and was hired by. Who, the insurance company? No, the, we have a class today on OSHA 10. Okay. It's a so former standard, OSHA inspector. Stand, standard o, OSHA 10 training. Yeah. Nothing. It, so She used to be an OSHA inspector. She now works for Maya, Towns Insurance. Okay. So, so they are teaching classes okay. for OSHA 10, and other towns were here too. Sure. So, getting here, so a bunch of guys went in to get their OSHA 10 certification yeah. updated or, or... Well, or, it's good forever unless you lose okay. it. Okay, so you're getting but here. I've got the OSHA construction 10. This was a general 10, so right. it's they, you can keep both. Yeah. If you do go back for an OSHA 10 and you already have one, they, they take your other one and make it null and void. Okay. The new ones now have a computer code on it. Yeah. Like she just said that New York City, it's a giant business of selling fake OSHA cards. To work in New York City, you have to have an OSHA card no matter what you're doing on a job. And there's a black market for OSHA cards. Yeah. Well, it's getting more and more common for people to ask for them up front if you know right they want to know that you're right most of the town contracts card. have them right well, you know but so yeah so they so, osha uh, maya is giving these classes well, massachusetts up until was about three or four years ago osha didn't apply to towns in fact they use the osha rules but it's the dl dlp yeah no, no it's true the dlp state too. does comes in and the one that, I mean, we've had them down there when somebody got hurt, they would come in. Right. But now they've kind of adopted the OSHA rules, but OSHA still doesn't. I mean, OSHA can't come and stop and, and do it, but municipalities were under the with DLP or DLP. Or no labor. Yeah. That's interesting because uh, building commissioners were required to have OSHA certification probably 15 years ago. Yeah, at least the OSHA. That's 10. the way. Uh, you're yeah, so I got the uh, OSHA certification quite a few years ago. OSHA never came in. Environmental health and safety watched over everything. And of course, their rules sometimes were worse than OSHA's, but we didn't get the fines. Yeah, the, I think it's DLS. They they've come down when we've had an accident. You know, they're more. You know, they come in and I well, how did this happen? What were you doing? Maybe that was what have you taken for class? Enforce things when you're inspecting yeah. more. But anyway, and the reason I brought it up is because I, I've always had these harebrained schemes. Why doesn't, why don't we, isn't there some way that you can coordinate with, uh, you know, OSHA and an insurance company at a project like the town hall columns? Now you're removing a bunch of lead. Now why can't OSHA have a certified company doing a live demonstration on a municipal, pro municipal property, it's public land, public property, they can do a demonstration of how you're supposed to do that lead safe renovation right there. This is how this is how you put the plastic up. Oh, it's too windy. We can't do it today. Uh, you know, this is how you this is how you put your PPE. This is how you and maybe OSHA, you can get some OSHA insurance credits. OSHA doesn't. They teach the rules. 
Yeah, they don't teach how to do they it. They don't teach you how to do it. That's well, that's, why, a, that's why I'm saying, that. where's the big gap? Why, well, there's a huge it's, gap it's, in this the whole system. OSHA doesn't well, allow people, people, to people to inspect. <laughs> Never mind teach. Oh, they got too many people to inspect. No. If you ask no. anybody who's been no. pinched. Do, do you know, <laughs> do you know if, if, you, if you call on somebody and they find them, they give you a kickback? Yeah. OSHA. Well, that's, that's, you know. And she pulled that, she showed us the web, the thing today you could pull up. So she pulled up Massachusetts. And you can see every town, okay. everybody, you know, and this one company that, you know, started out with, you know, everything over $40,000 fines. And this one guy started out with a bunch of them. The next thing you know, he's at $1.6 million because the same guy backed over two guys and pushed him in a ditch. Well, you, you know, that's what I was trying to avoid. You know, can't you just take, can't you, you know, get together with the insurance companies and your OSHA and, and too long have long. this training done so these accidents don't happen? Yeah, but it, it's... It's a big business because sure it is. We we all went down to Connecticut for the lead uh, safe training. I went, yeah. and it was a two day thing in well, I went, big I went to the, where they had sections off and all. I went to the one week uh, supervisors class to be licensed, and Amherst College sent us all down there. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they send you down there, but they won't pay you to get your license. They don't want you to have your license. If they catch you doing it wrong, you went to class. Yeah. You're in trouble. Yeah. It's on you now, it's, not them. It's just so crooked. And yeah, it is. It's, it is what it is. It but doesn't make any sense. And you're about, either you're about safety or you're not. And right now, asbestos is the big thing. All the schools are supposed to have a trained asbestos person. All Actually, all the janitors and everybody at work there are supposed to be trained in it. It's enough to know that you don't touch that. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't mean to sidetrack us that far. But, so. I mean, ne next agenda. So how do you want to proceed on looking at the building? Let's you and I get together and combine the insurance stuff with these, and get it ready for next meeting. Yeah, and we can kind of work on that. And, and I can I once we get down to a rough formula, I will have. So, actually, I'm trying to think when our next. I can run it by, at the next. Uh, if we get something roughed up, I'm trying to remember when our next safety meeting is, so I can present it to the person. So. When, whenever we get these forms done, how do you how do you guys want to go forward with looking at the bills? You want to do it all together, or do you probably want one or two at a time? If we're going to go, or do you want nitpick and fine tooth comb inspections? One or two buildings at a at do a whack. Do we need everybody to go through them? Yeah. We, then we have to post we break it. Yeah, that's the other thing. thing. We post the meeting then because if we're if we have quorum yeah. of, of our committee, I mean, we'll have to post it. I mean, I don't know if that's something this committee can do, or like like you and I, it used to be Tommy, me, and, or you, me, and Mike. Mike, yeah. So, uh, that's, so there's my question, do you, that's what we I think we could time. work on our getting a sheet formed out, right, yeah, to make sure that everybody's that. on but, board. Yeah, in the past, our butts. in the past, right, but that was for me as a building commissioner, and, and that was before the Municipal Building Commission. Right, we did, yeah. I still yeah. And, and the fire chief, yeah. we went through the buildings. Do you guys want us to do that? Do you guys want to be part of the inspections? I, I wouldn't mind going through it just to get updated. Yeah, it's always good. I mean, I'm always yeah. happy to, I'm, you know, I'm all about buildings. Free. If you got well, a building, and we could do that like we did last time, we just got together. Um, on a on, Saturday. On a, on a Saturday yeah. or whatever day we want to do it and yeah. just go through all the buildings. Or if everybody doesn't want to go and you guys want to do it during yeah. the week, I can do it during the week as well. I can do it during the week? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm flexible. I'm, it's getting busier. I'm getting more and more busy as the springtime approaches here. But. As nice weather moves in. Yeah. But, I, yeah, if, if you could pick a day, just let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to tag along. So... From that selectman's meeting that we went to, did you get, in your mind, clear direction on what they wanted us to do? Because they're questioning what we were doing, but I didn't really well, hear Well, exactly. I think Dan really helped with coming up and saying what what our mission was. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's an old, it's a way outdated mission statement. And but the fact came, we're not but remember exhausted. Remember, they came back and told us to rewrite it and give it to them so they can prove it. So yeah, could, yeah, but we didn't write that event. We didn't, we didn't come up with that mission statement. That was no, that was they, them that came up with that. But they want us to do it, so we can write up a mission statement. And I said the only thing I, I think we should be working on, and I said which we want to start on, is the maintenance of the buildings. I think it's. 
and they talked about Gary's position. Well, that's what he's supposed to be doing. I said, that's, we're not going to be coming up with... You know, let's pile up Gary with work. That's what part of our mission statement. Well, Bury I, Gary. I don't think Gary's the one to that's do good. or get supervised contractors and, and stuff yeah. like that, not to really make up... Um, do inspections or um, well, come I mean, up with a lot of these Technically, things. yeah. I mean, we do inspections. The fire building inspector do inspections on every town build, you know, commercial right. building and a lot of re rental properties now. And yeah. when you see but things, you those inspections. Well, right. Yeah. Those inspections are different from what we're, we're doing here. Okay. Right, but they don't really, they don't really do that to the other town buildings. No, they do it and to that's the why we need, and we started this. Right, and that's why we did it originally. Yes. But. And it gave us an idea of what was And like I said, I think if we take this and take the stuff that I've. Yeah, we'll put it together. And work it with the insurance company so that we can get credit for that. Yeah. Then we can go about doing it however they want to do it, but at least the town loves it when they so save money. So my thought is when we do this, we'll see the big problems with the buildings. And I think my position is that we as a committee prioritize those, give it to in a report and say, whatever building it is, this is what we found with giving a copy of this. This is how we would prioritize what the needs are and give it to them. Now, hopefully, and that worked well for the critical event. needs. At, and, and, and there you had Larry writing up the specs for all these critical needs that we came up with. And we chiseled away at that list yeah. over a course of three or four years before all of a sudden we had to I see it. that still happening. Yeah. Well, we did, you know, originally our charter was, we had a lot of old buildings. And we've got three new ones up now. We've still got one, you know, a couple of them that are old that need some work, but the major projects are gone. So like you said, now it's it's maintaining, keeping up with what we right. have. Right, not let that happen again. Right. Yes. And, you know, and yes, I've come up with capital plan. Great. I did one That's four years ago. We used to have a three year, and then it was five, yeah. and the last one was 10. Wow. And that was four years ago. I found it in my drawer the other day. Yeah. And guess what? The first thing that was supposed to have happened in 01, or 2021, the first row didn't get done. Already, 22 sorry. didn't get done. So now we've, <laughs> in the mud. Now we've pushed everything up. Yeah, and I said, there's no way I can go out 10 years. I can't. You're lucky you can go out a year on what something's going to cost. Because they want estimated costs. Well, nowadays, yeah. yeah you're not, you can't do that. It's, so, yeah, here, you need windows at the public safety complex and you need siding. What's the cost? I have no idea because if you called somebody tomorrow and got a price, they're only going to hold it. They're going to hold, long, they're two, gonna hold yeah. it long enough for you to make a decision and cut it's a check. Two weeks, right? They only the locksmith. Them. He says, I'll, I, "He says I'm quoting you the quote until I go down to pick it up this afternoon. After that, it could change tomorrow." <laughs> and that's if you can get stuff. Yeah, that's a you know there is a still supply chain issues. But okay, so so I say we you know we'll come we'll to get together. We'll combine these. We'll we'll. Next next time, come up with some dates that you guys like to get together, and we'll all go and look at the building. Not really to do this, per se, go and check all this off, but to really go through the buildings, and, and so we have a, a good visual thought on what the buildings look like. And then, we, if you want to, then Gary, myself, and the fire chief, if he wants to do it, we can do this. If that's what you guys want to do, I think. Unless you want to do this with us, no, either way is fine. Like I said, that's something that I'm it's, pretty sure we can get credit time, for, and I will this bring it time up. Time consuming. Yeah, especially when you tie in the insurance stuff that they want. It's yeah, a checklist. So, but, yeah, I mean, um, as far as the town hall siding, painting, windows goes. Are we going to let that slide until after this is done and put that in there, or should we start? I think Believe me, that, that has come up in several conversations, and it came up when we met with CPA about the extra money for the Goodwin and that. And now they have released, relaxed, um, you know, it used to be, no, we're not paying for maintenance. Well, they've changed that now. And Mary said yes. She would be willing to put, like, Borla siding on the town hall and, and paint it and put some new windows in. But there again. Yeah, and and 
everybody knows that needs to be done. The problem is you got to get the CPA money to do it, but then you also got to get somebody to write up the specs, find the right stuff to do it because it's got to be CPA money's got to be. You don't just go slapping in some, you know, one over windows like this. It's got to match. It's got to be. Yeah, you got to tie least, it into some historic. Yeah, it's got to look like it doesn't have right, to be. Right, it doesn't have to be historic, exact, but it's got to look. Have to look historic. And you so, want to make sure. So that that's a big enough job where he's needs some design person yes. to write right. the specs. Right. But we don't have the Springfield way of doing things yet. That's what yeah. I'm saying. We're so, so, yeah, that's not going to happen in a month either. No. No. No, let, let's be real. You know, no, without, no. without picking on anybody, it's no. just not going to happen that quick. Yeah. So, do we need, if we don't have the Springfield way, how do we go to the town hall and say, look, we need some money because look outside of the town hall, we need a design project. Well, well certainly you could, you know, we know that what the town hall needs now, it needs more than just the columns. You know, we could certainly apply, you well, know. Well, once, once the columns are done, you're going to get a real look at the town right, hall. Right, I understand. That's got right, but, you know, my point is you could certainly apply for some CPA dollars to get <laughs> the specs written is look we need these specs written up we can't just hire somebody to do it we need the specs written up and it's within CPA uh, so CPA will give give you they will give you specs because they did do that for good one right the phase yeah. two specs that was yes they yeah. will do that yeah yes Mary said yes we can get CPA money so, and that may be the quickest way is yes. just to at least apply for the dollars have a rough estimate of what's going to cost for design work to for when they go and then go out you have to go out to get somebody to do that once the money's done so right if we get the step. design at least right. you have a dollar figure to go back to get tax money or CPA, back to money. CPA money right so um, I don't know I think that that would be I don't know when when you ask for that money is only a couple times a year or well type thing or what? you're too late for spring but yeah. we can do it for the fall town meeting mm -hmm. Get our, well, maybe we should get our act together. For shoot that. for that. Yeah, I would. And yep. then uh, I agree. And then we can go and throughout the winter do research yes. and whatnot mm -hmm. to get it going. Because you know, let's face it, drive by it now it looks like heck. Well, wait Never till, mind wait till the paint the columns and power wash areas of it. You know. So we uh, we should ask Mary about yeah. going out for money. For okay. It. I mean, it's the it's it, you have to pay your prevailing wage on everything. Oh, At yeah. least you're saving, you know, the taxpayers some money by using CPA. It's you know, you're not raising their taxes to get this done. You, you well, should the, not the have other, to. The other thing about CPA money, I know you get some matching money from the state, but it still is the taxpayers' money. Oh sure. So it's not like we're burning it. Well, we're, we're using did, it for something. We right, did using it for something that's that's keeping. Right. You know, it's preserving our community here. That's they they make match it back, and Mary told me that, and I didn't know this, but every sale of a house gets kicked back fifty bucks to them, whether you're refinancing or not. And she said, that's why we've been the last couple of years we've had a windfall, mm -hmm. money coming back because, you know, you know how the market was. She goes, it, it's going to drop like it's a significant, you know, especially like, it's since go, there's only three houses like jumping off the right, right now. jumping off the cliff. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that you, we're not going to see that, that the real yeah. windfall from that is it's coming gone. to a close. Yeah. So we've got to spend accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you I, you can't hold a candle to how well the CPA has dealt with their. You know, they've been a really good gatekeeper for that money, um, and they've allocated it properly. And they're you know the, right. they and they, the, they have the, a. Uh, you know they're not going to go below that five hundred thousand dollar kitty that they're this some is, of we their, need at least a half a million dollars and the good thing about it is some of their rules and restrictions have changed so now it's like you can actually try to maybe fix something before it's right got to be replaced yeah yeah no, it's okay. a good resource in town all right so we got a little bit of stuff to do uh, you guys come up with some dates so we're going to well, let's, well, let's get the forms and stuff all yeah. figured out first. Okay, and then uh, I'm pretty open. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, you check with most of the people and like yeah. the sent out, and I'm pretty much good for it.
So you have those insurance forms, Gary? I've got them down there. But they're, yeah, in the, in, the, in the shop there. And there's some more stuff I can pull up too. I mean, I think we can, you know, between this and that, work out some yeah. stuff and then I'll run it by them and see if there's anything else that they recommend. And I okay. think, like I said, they love when you do all this proactive stuff. So, is there anything else that you guys want to talk about? Next meeting, maybe? Yeah, that would uh, be good. Probably, uh, if we put it on the 19th, that's four weeks out. Is that enough time? Do we need more time? No. So, Gary, mm. well, I guess we're mess. 19th is a selectman's meeting. Yeah, I was just. And they have been meeting in here. Yeah, so we, 12th or 26th? I mean, if we're sticking on Wednesdays, I'm just throwing stuff out. So. We can do it any day of the week. And the 5th is a selectman's meeting, so yes, you'd have to go. Want to do it on a Tuesday night instead? Tuesdays aren't as good for me. I have lots okay. of meetings. That's fine. Why don't, why don't we, um, I don't know, I'd like to say go to the 12th, but I don't know if we're going to have a whole lot of stuff to talk about before then either. Yeah. Uh, you want to go to the 26th? Okay. Hopefully by then. And if things start falling into place a little better, we'll... Um, we can always up. Bump we it. can always change it. Okay, 26, 7, yeah, it's right in here. Every senior community center. Okay, anything else? else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Aye. Aye. Aye.